So it has been a while, but one of the things that I've talked about before was the importance of knowing your carry distance. And so today I wanted to kind of show you guys what I have in my bag in terms of distance. So as you guys know, you're allowed to take like 14 clubs in a bag. I think out of my 14 clubs, I maybe have about um, 30 distances that I can carry these clubs. So I think it is pretty... It's important for you to have more than one distance that you can carry a club at, which is what I work on. Um, I usually have at least two distances per club, more for the wedges. But yeah, let me just explain a little bit more about what I'm talking about here with you guys. And I wanted to bring you guys around and show you guys my short shot selection and basically the options that I might have for an approach shot into a green. So for this second shot, I have 151 yards, it's playing about 155. If you couldn't tell from the first hole, the ground conditions are really wet because it was raining the entire night. So that is definitely going to come into play as well. So I basically have three options for this shot. I could hit a full 7 iron because the only obstacle in front is a bunker which I have to carry, which I can carry with the 7 iron. I can hit a regular 6 iron or a half 6 iron or a full or a half five iron which is a five hybrid so basically i have four options for this shot and what i'm going to be choosing is going to be my six iron and because of the wet conditions i'm going to hit it almost like a full shot and just know that it's probably not going to go over anyway so and the only obstacle like i said is the bunker in front so i think the six iron would be good for this shot So the club choice not only affects the type of shot but it can also affect my target because if I hit a 7 iron which would be like I said just enough to carry the bunker I would have to be a little bit more um, safe, safe like play a safer play because if I miss it a little bit there's a chance that I'm going in the bunker whereas with the 6 iron I can be more aggressive that's why I chose the 6 iron for that shot and like I said the only obstacle was the bunker in front so the 6 iron to me was the better shot in that better shot choice for that anyway Okay, so let me explain a little bit about what I was talking about in terms of having like 30 distances even though you have 14 clubs. So if you only have one distance per club, I mean you would probably have about 13 different distances that you can hit the ball to. Um, obviously that's minus your putter because putter is not going to go a specific distance. And I'm talking about just like, you know, 9 iron goes 120, whatever. 
But the way that I practice is that I make sure that each club I know what the distance is going to be if I hit a full shot and a half shot. And that's why sometimes I have that like half follow through which a lot of you guys have pointed out like why do I sometimes do that. So usually when I do that it's when I am, so for instance if my pitching wedge carries 120 yards and I have a shot that's going to be 115 or 110 yards then I would probably hit the half follow through shot which is a half pitching wedge. So um, yeah, so that I get the distances in between my clubs, I know that the full carry distance for a full shot and the carry distance for a half shot, so I would have at least two different distances that each club can carry. So for this par 5, the approach shot, I have, I probably have some kind of like wedge. So for my wedges, and the reason why I said I have like 30 variations of carry distances that I could hit my clubs is because with my wedges, I almost have about 3 to 4 different distances that I am confident with how far they're going to carry. So I have a full wedge, so for instance, like a 52 degree wedge, I have the full carry distance for a full 52 degree shot, a half shot, um, a half chip shot, and a chip shot. So. Yeah, that sounds kind of confusing and I would pro I'm probably going to try and show you guys in another time. But yeah, so I know that my 52 degree wedge can go four different distances. So that can also help me for different shots and different circumstances whether I want to hit a 52 or 58 or 48. And so yeah, it really depends on the situation. So for instance, on that approach shot over there, I had 76 yards, which is technically a full 58 degree wedge. However, I choose to go with a 52 degree wedge because of the lie being downhill and I know that past the pin, the ball will roll back. Um, so yeah, just usually uh, when it's, I mean I wouldn't say that I would always choose a half shot, but most of the time I do choose a half shot because I feel like I can control it more. And yeah, as long as I know what distance is going to carry, then I'm confident with hitting that half shot and I can commit to it. So this might seem a little bit complicated to you guys but there's many reasons why I do this. I think it's very important to have options because when you have options, so generally, so basically when you do this, you are never really going to be in between distance because you have a shot for possibly every distance that you can reach and that is one of the reasons why I practice this. I want to make sure that you know when you when you reach a distance and you're like kind of in between distance you know that okay I have options and there are there is a shot that I can use for this distance and for whatever I need to achieve um, most of the time when you're in between distance and you're not comfortable and you're you don't really know what cup to hit that's when you're gonna hit bad shots because you you know try to control it too much or you try to hit it too hard or whatever it is but basically you're not hitting a normal swing so I do think it's important to have you know as many weapons as you can in your arsenal and one of the ways to do that is to make sure that you use each club to its full potential by giving it as many distances as it possibly can. Um, having variation is so important and I think that also helps you adapt better in different situations and helps you, gives you more options just for every single shot. Okay, so for this approach shot, I have 103 yards. I'm on a side slope, so I feel like that's going to make it draw a little bit, which is probably going to make it go a little bit further. So I'm stuck between, so 103, I think 105, normally I would hit a 48 degree wedge, which carries about that distance. Right now, I can either hit 48, 52, or a pitching wedge. Um, 52, well, yeah, it depends on what kind of shot I want to hit. I think I'm still going to go with a 48, but I'm going to hit a half shot and it's going to be a softer half shot because for this green landing in the center of the green is perfect and also because it's a rough it might release a little bit more so I don't want to be too aggressive with this so I'm going to hit something that carries about 95. So as you can see, like I said, that full shot with that club just now went 103. I landed it pin high because of the way that the rough was and because of the lie that I was on. So knowing a distance is super important because if you just see that, like, you know, 105 and then you're just going to hit a full um, 48 degree wedge, which is what the distance was, you have definitely went in the water. So while having options, there's always going to be... I feel like a safer shot 
and a more aggressive shot on every single approach shot that you have. So the safer shot for just that would have been the 52 degree wedge because either way it's not going to go over and the water hazard is only at the back of the green. Um, the 48 was a bit more aggressive shot but like I said like I hit the 48 a couple of distances so I did not hit a full 48 and the pitching on a flat lie that would have been probably the shot that I would have hit like a half pitching wedge but because of the lie um, the 48 was a better option for that one so yeah I think you can really having options also helps you like rank the difficulty of the shot that you're about to hit so I could have hit the 52 which, have, which would have been the safest shot I would have just been able to hit a full shot no matter what I mean worst to worst is gonna be a long part from the front of the green um, but yeah I don't think the water would have been in play and 48 was the middle shot and the pitching wedge I would say is actually easier than a 48 because I would have just hit like a chipping pitching wedge so yeah choosing based on what you think the situation um, ask for <laughs> okay so this is the next hole it's a par 4 it's not a driver hole um, to the age is like 212 so even though this is not an approach shot this is another instance where I have many different clubs where I can choose from um, first option would be the 5 wood a full 5 wood would go right to the edge but I would probably be probably be cutting it really close and if I get a good bounce I might go to the hazard I have a 4 hybrid which I could basically just hit full and I don't think it's gonna reach there or I could also hit that half a 5 wood but hit it softer we should probably go around the same distance as the 4 hybrid so like you can see, I think the option here, even though there's three options, I think it's pretty clear that the safest bet would be to hit the 4 hybrid. Either way, I'm not going, I'm just, it's just a layup shot. And also, something else that comes into consideration is today the pin is in front. So because the pin is in front, I don't need to try and get as close as possible to the hazard. So I'm just going to hit a full 4 hybrid and get it somewhere on the fairway. So I didn't hit the most solid 4 hybrid, which means that I have a longer approach shot into the green. But like I said, it's a layup anyway, and the pin's in front, so it's not that bad. But yeah, I mean, if a layup's really up to you, if you want to be more aggressive or more conservative, I was just more conservative for that shot. Okay, the approach shot there at 140 yards, playing 143. Again, had a couple of options, either hit a full 8, a half seven or a soft seven or even a lower half six so it was a little bit windy there which is another factor that can affect what I choose because if it is windier the longer the club obviously the lower it's gonna go so I was actually choosing between the six and the seven iron I ended up going the seven iron because the wind was kind of swirling and not really going into us kind of to the side so yeah another factor that can affect your choices is also wind and I think having the option of being able to hit the longer club softer is also important because of that because then you can control it better and you can hit it you don't have to worry too much about the wind when you hit it lower Okay, so this is where it's very important to weigh your choices. This is kind of an island green. Alright, so it's 117 to the pin. It's 110 to carry the bunker. And it's about 125 or 130 to the water. So again, several options. It's actually a full pitching wedge for me. Um, also, like I said just now, with regards to the easier and harder shot, with a shot like that, like the 9 iron is a good option. On a regular basis, I would probably hit the 9 iron. But because I can't go over on this hole, the 9 iron, um, if I hit the 9 iron, I have to go more towards the right side of the pin. If I hit the pitching wedge, I can be aggressive. Um, yeah, I think I will probably go for the pitching wedge on this one and so that I can go straight for the pin. Like I said, if I go for the 9 iron, I have to play it safer. I have to go towards the wider side of the green, which is not so um, shallow. So yeah, I think the pitching wedge would be the better option for this hole.
Okay, so I think the video is going to cut to a little bit of me showing you the shots that I was talking about on the driving range. Um, I just thought it'd be interesting to kind of show you guys and talk about my options and how I make decisions on the golf course with regards to different irons and different carry distances. And I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys at the driving range.